I would make 74,000 that year. Now, if I get deployed, then I'm you're usually working seven to seven, six days a week. Um, sometimes you're working longer than that, like especially on the beginning of a storm. Well, the good thing about it is, is if I'm working 16 hours a day, then anything over 40 hours, I'm getting time and a half for it. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. And you have experience with State Farm for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, and you're saying that IAs get paid more, but in your experience, are you willing to share like the numbers on like what somebody who's on the CAT team at State Farm, like what kind of their ballpark-ish um, sort of compensation is? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I'm the type of person that's super transparent. I was told by a manager, he's like, Andy, you're way too honest. <laughs> I guess he was talking about my conversations with the homeowner. But anyway, um, if I have something, if I have some information that can help somebody, then I'm going to share it. Um, yeah. I dealt with issues out on the road, and I've shared those in other podcasts. And so people ask me, why do you share that stuff? It's like, well, if I can help somebody through my story, then that's what I want to do. So... Yeah, for example, my, like not mixing like plaid and like polka dots, right? So you'll tell a homeowner like, listen, you know. Yeah, or wearing uh, a long sleeve undershirt in the middle of August and you're working Dallas. So, <laughs> which is what I always did. So, um, so basically, skin, though. yeah, yeah. So after 25 years at State Farm and I was on the cat team, so um, the base salary and you can go online right now and look at the ranges because they're doing a lot of hiring, but my base salary was 74. Now that doesn't ever change unless I work more than 40 hours a week. So when you're at home waiting for a deployment, they consider that on call or yeah, on call status. So they want you to uh, check your computer every 15, every 15 minutes, every day for about 15 minutes just to make sure you're catching up on emails, stay on top of any continuous education training, uh, make sure you're monitoring your licenses. And that's the other thing as a staff adjuster, all license, license fees is taken care of. Actually, they yeah. have a licensing department that pretty much takes care of all of that for you. They do it for you, yeah. Yeah, they do it for you. Liberty um, did I that. think I had just 17 hey, licenses. Yeah, they go, hey, you've got 19 licenses. And I'm like, I do? <laughs> Well, what they do is they you have to get a uh, home state, you have to have a home state license first, um, and so how how it works. And I'm not uh, an expert on this, but I know Adjuster Pro is. But I live in Oklahoma, and so I had to test for my Adjuster license. So since I have a state that I live in that I had to test for, then the states, the other states are reciprocal to that because the um, level of knowledge that I had to have to pass the test, they agree, okay, well, if he passed, if, he has, he's, if he's an adjuster in Oklahoma, then we're going to just give him the Louisiana license, for example, or the Texas license or the Florida license. And so basically what they do is they take that one application through Nipper or CERCON, and then they apply for all these other licenses for you, and then they pay the fees. And then every year you have to fill out a, a, a renewal and then at the end of that application, it says, are you filling this out for yourself or someone else? Well, you put someone else, stop, send them an email saying, hey, I've, I've completed, partially completed this application. Then they go in there, finish it, and then pay the fees for you. So it, it, that in itself would be a, a good reason to be a staff adjuster. But uh, my base salary at State Farm when I left was 74000 and that never changed. So if I was sitting at home waiting on a deployment uh, for a month, which hardly ever happened, then I would make 74000 that year. Now, if I get deployed, then I'm you're usually working seven to seven, six days a week. Um, sometimes you're working longer than that, like especially on the beginning of a storm. You know how it is, it's crazy. Um, you're working longer than that. Well, the good thing about it is, is if I'm working 16 hours a day, then anything over 40 hours, I'm getting time and a half for. So my last year at State Farm, 
I think I ended up making like 145,000, uh, but I was out like 280 days too. Now that doesn't sound like a lot because there's 365 days in a year, but man, there, there's more no than half. Yeah, there's no opportunity to say time out, time out. I want to, I want to stay at home for the next three weeks because I need to get caught up on stuff. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.